Hey, what's up, guys? I've got another Vinegar Syndrome package to unbox here for you. This is a couple things that I'm waiting for for a while now. Uh, one thing specifically out uh, of this entire pack, I think there's four things in here. There's one that was released that I'm really interested in, one or two that I'm just kind of meh about, and then one more that I'm also kind of just in. I was avoiding for a while. I thought I would buy it later, but um, I just got it because why not? Here. Oops. I want to hit the camera. I hear that. Just cutting along here. Okay, I'm taking out one at a time here. First one is Starman. This is the one that I was interested in, but I was kind of waiting for a while. I should probably have waited for the um, uh, halfway to Black Friday sale that they're going to have at the end of May. Usually they have that sale around Memorial Day weekend. Um, I probably could have waited for that. It's probably going to be about 17 bucks at that time. I, I paid 22 for this, so it's 5 bucks to guarantee I get it with a slip. I mean, there's still several, there's still like a couple hundred uh, uh, available. But, uh, last year, when I tried to order um, Double Exposure, they were out. They ran out that, that morning, so I was afraid I'd run it happen again, and I have to buy it online, and I don't want to do that, so that's why I got this one. This says, written, produced, and directed by Alexander Cassini. This is about, I think, a nutbag whose favorite television show gets canceled, and he starts killing people. From 1991, apparently, 84 minutes. Region free. Henry Pinkle, Michael Saint Gerard, Michael, excuse me, Michael Saint Gerard, lives for television. This world of make believe consumes his every waking moment. But when his favorite show is canceled, Henry is driven o over the edge and decides to commit suicide. And then he meets Sam Bones, a mysterious agent who promises Henry happiness and stardom if he follows his instructions, engulfing Henry in an increasingly downward spiral of brutality and murder. Hailed by the LA Times as an impressively ambitious and potent first feature, Alexander Cassini's Star Time is an angst-ridden study of violent psychosis and media obsession, pronounced by surrealist visuals and gory violence. Co-star, excuse me, co-starring John P. Ryan and Maureen Teefy, Vinegar Syndrome presents this unique art house horror film on Blu-ray, newly restored from its original 35mm camera negative and presented in its never-before on-home video original director's cut. There's some stills. He wears this weird, like, baby mag, uh, baby like face or whatever. It's weird. It's uncomfortable looking. It's very weird. Special features seems a little light, but that's not a big deal to me. Newly scanned and restored in 2K from 35 millimeter negative. Commentary track. Shooting star time interview with the cinematographer. Uh, the great performance. Short film. The aqua trailer. Versatile cover art and subtitles. Subtitles is a special feature now. Very cool. And cool. I'm just gonna open these up as I get them now. A little uh, easier than taking them all out. Of course, they don't have the what do you call that? The info sticker on the top. Which I'm not a huge fan of because it's one more thing to take care of. Fuck. I'm gonna scratch everything. Hold on. There we go. Two discs. That's the alternate cover art too. That fucking weirdo. Whatever, I probably should mess around with it. I can do it later, but it's not straight. So, very cool though. Star time with a nice thick slip cover. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. All right, now is the next one. Oops, That's my invoice actually. Let me get that out quick. I think it's four films. 
Well, it's the April. I bought the April Blu-ray package, and that was three films, and then I bought this one separate. Ah, Blood Duck. This is the one that I was interested in. This one just looks really cool. This, the premise is cool, and this this cover art right here is amazing. This slipcover is just so cool. Look at that. It's like a bobber, but it's a skull. A hook there, blood hook. This is embossed, and it's glossy on a matte finish. Very cool. Or just the same. Oh, actually, it's different. That's right. It's different uh, artwork. That's pretty cool artwork. Look at that. And it's got almost the same ones. I haven't taken back. Very cool. Let's see here. Well, this is from 1986, 111 minutes. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, Region Free, directed by John, Jim Mallon. Let's take a look here. 17 years ago, Peter's grandfather went missing under mysterious circumstances. Now, Peter and his friends have returned to the place Wisconsin, t placid Wisconsin town and to check out his inherited lake house and to partake in the annual musky madness fishing competition. Soon after his arrival, Peter begins to sense that something isn't quite right, but none of his friends nor the local sheriff will believe him. But as town folk and tourists begin to disappear, Peter becomes determined to solve the mystery, as well as that of his grandfather's disappearance, and soon finds himself facing off against a fishhook-wielding madman. Feature film debut from director Jim Mallon, uh, MST3K, the movie. Oh, really? Bloodhook is a distinctly comedic slasher that mixes copious bloodshed with wry satire. Never released domestically in its original version, Vinegar Center presents this underseen regional horror oddity full uncut and featuring previously uh, censored gore and mayhem on Blu-ray and a fresh cinematographer approved restoration from its original camera negative. We got the new scan. Interview with the director, interview with the actress, Lisa Todd. Interview with the FX artist. Uh, audio interview with cinematographer and editor. Still gallery, theater trailer, and the slip cover designed by so-and-so and reverse blurred. Does this one say? Is it a slip cover? It's a reversible cover, huh? Sometimes they say it and sometimes they don't. I don't get it. Ah, let's open this up. I can't grab a hold of anything here. I can do enough job cutting it. Let me cut this over here because I was fucking it up before. There we go. So I like this artwork. Let's see if I like that artwork. Well, that's kind of fucked up too. So two discs like usual. That's kind of corny, kind of cool though. Um, I think I like this artwork. So I'll stick with this right now. That's cool. You can't worm your way out. I really want to watch this one. Of all the ones I've bought recently, I've, I've uh, only kind of had a passing fancy, I guess, of which ones I wanted to watch. This one I really do want to watch. I'm gonna watch that tonight if I can. What the? Oh, that's right. This one has a double cover type deal. This is uh, not the terror. This is just called terror. It was buried a hundred years, but never laid to rest. That's kind of the back, actually. But I guess it could be whichever one you want. This is the like official uh, cover. We're about to experience terror. There is no escape. Kind of cool. This is the actual cover. That's kind of cool too, actually. One step beyond horror. Take a look see. Well, actually, it's going to be kind of glary. Let's take this plastic off first, maybe. It's a little easier to loop. I'm fucking dropping shit already. I think I get better by this. I've been doing this a thousand times already. I think I get better at unboxing shit, but I don't. All right. The Terror. I keep saying The Terror. It's not The Terror. It's just called Terror. The Terror is an awesome book and now a miniseries on AMC that you should watch. It's about uh, the Franklin Expedition and it's awesome. It involves old tiny ships and lots and lots of death. I like it. So two discs. That's cool. This is the other artwork.
The country estate of filmmaker James Garrick has been haunted for centuries by a mysterious and deadly curse. Everyone in his family line comes to a gruesome end at the hand of an unknown substance, excuse me, an unknown supernatural assailant. When Garrick's long-lost cousin Anne unexpectedly arrives at his secluded manor, mayhem and bloodshed soon follow. But is Anne the person behind these acts of carnage, or could something more horrifying be afoot? Taking inspiration from Italian gothic horror films and giallos, Norman G. Warren's terror features a lurid gelled lighting, bizarre plot twists, and copious amounts of brutal bloodshed. British-made 70s horror, like Mr. Provide, proudly brings terror to Blu-ray, but newly restored from its camera negative, and featuring all of Chicken Drop and Carnage fully intact. It is 84 minutes from 1978. Region free, of course. It's got a newly scanned regular negative, extensive audio interview, brand new interviews with all these people, you can see there, and deleted extended scenes, which were covered, and subtitles, which... Subtitles aren't... Honestly, it's not like a subtle feature, but whatever. And finally, Blue Vengeance. This one I wasn't as intrigued by, but uh, it sounded cool. And the cut, the slip cover was awesome, so. so I get it. That's the same artwork. Let's take that off now. Just because I want to make this a little bit shorter. I don't know if it doesn't end up being long when I do these unboxings, so I'm trying to hurry up, guys. Sorry if it sounds like it is, but I'm trying to be a little more concise. There's the discs, and oops, there's some different slip cover around here. Oops, shit. There we go. That's kind of cool. Nice. Convicted murderer Mark Trex has just escaped from an asylum and is headed to New York City to track down the members of his favorite childhood band, Warriors of the Inferno. Believing that their occult hit song, which told him Satan, told of Satan and death, is true, Dex is determined. Trex is determined to see if the band members have held up their part of their pact with evil. However, cop on the edge, Mickey McArdle, is hot on his trail and determined to end his serial killer spree. A strange mashup of horror and action film, Jay Christian. Ingvordson's Blue Vengeance combines gory killings with drug-addled underground rock club scenes and corrupt police procedure. That's set in the gritty world of late 80s New York. Comes complete with visits to Times Square and the infamous music club CBCGs. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome presents the Blu-ray debut of this directed video rarity, newly restored from its camera negative. 103 minutes uh, from 1989. It comes with a newly scanned 2K negative, commentary track with director-actor, commentary track from actor John Weiner, making Blue Vengeance on Blue Vengeance, the first man unreleased surreal science fiction drama from Blue Vengeance cover to Danny Kuchik. Hmm. Cover art and subtitles. Hmm. Sounds kind of cool. This one I wasn't as interested in, but like I said, all of these ones piqued my interest in some way. Blue Vengeance. That's some pretty cool cover, actually. This is also, it's not embossed or anything, but as you can see, it's slightly glossy in the middle there. It doesn't hang upside there. So yeah, that is my haul this time, for this month, or for whatever the hell I'm doing. That actually means to me, I might not be purchasing much from their sale. But I, like I said, their sale runs, uh, usually, I think it's last year was Memorial Day weekend, so look out for it if you're still wanting to buy some of these things. Although, this May, April, and the things they release in April and May typically aren't uh, discounted. I don't think they are anyway. But there are going to be two brand new releases, I believe. They're kind of like a Black Friday when they have a mystery release. So um, I'll buy those, I guess. But uh, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. This fucking thing. And I'll see you later for more stuff. More stuffs. Pretty cool stuff here. I like Vinegar Syndrome. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.